Welcome back to AP Stats. This is Dr. Kling, still not with the College Board in any way. And this talk will be about the binomial probability distribution. So again, we have, I'll use the example of taking free throws. Let's say we're taking 10 free throws. And we're a 60% free throw shooter. Free throw shooter. And we can ask questions like what is the probability that in this batch of 10 th free throws that we make exactly 5? Or we could ask what is the probability we make Uh, less than or equal to 5. That is, we make 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Okay, so those two things. Now, for the first one, for the exactly, we have, uh, so we, let's call this number 5, let's call that K. So we're, what we're asking in that case is what's the probability that x equals k. In the second case here, we're asking what's the probability that x is less than or equal to k. So that's what we're trying to do. So we have this, this, this is a letter k. Um, <clears throat> and so we have n trials. P is the probability of success on each trial, and K is our crucial number. In this case, we're, we, we use 5. I could have used any number. I could have said 4. I could have said 8. Could, it depends what kind of que what question we want to ask. And the formula for this ex making exactly is something like this n over, and I'll explain what this over means because there's no division sign, n over k p to the k 1 minus p to the n minus k. So let's do this. Let's pretend I'd set k equal to 3. So if I set k equals 3, then this n over k turns out to be it's n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. This is the sometimes known as the binomial coefficient. You might have to remember what it looks like, but you'll never actually have to remember how to use it, uh, or ne never have to use it, because the, it's all embedded nicely in the calculator. So if k were 3, this would be n, and, and we had n, 10 trials, this would be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial times 3 factorial. And then we would multiply by our 0 0.6 to 3, and then 1 minus 0 0.6 to the 7. 10 minus 3 is 7. So that'd be real mess, fine, never have to know that because all this stuff is embedded in the calculator in a function called, it's under distributions, binome pdf, where you input n, p, and k. So if we're asking what's the probability of making five free throws, so five is k, then we would in put into this 10, because we're shooting a batch of 10 free throws, 0.6, because that's the probability of making each free throw, and 5, and that because that's the number we're interested in. What's the probability of making exactly 5 free throws? And if we stick that in the calculator, we get 0 0.20. Uh, that turns out to be the answer. And if and now what about our second question? If we want to get up to and including five, 
then we could go we could calculate binome PDF for five. Uh, we could do it for for five and then four, three, two, one, zero, and add them all up. Or we can go to a magic function in the calculator called binome CDF. Note that we're not using a C before we're using a P. Binome CDF, that stands for cumulative. And we can put that down and we get, I think, 0.3 something. Hang on. Yeah, we get 0.367. So 0.367. So the probability of hitting exactly five free throws is 0 0.20. And the probability of hitting five or fewer is this 0.367. So this is all very simple. The one thing I would caution you about is that you have to be very careful about whether it's the the question asks you less than five or five or fewer. Okay, those will give different answers. Less than five would be binome CDF from 10.64 because we because we don't want to include 5 in there whereas 5 or fewer would be 10.65 and you have to be very careful when someone's saying let's say 6 or more or more than 6 okay so 6 or more so the way I think of that, I, I sometimes actually have to draw a number line and say, all right, five, six, seven, and six or more means this is all counted. So we subtract off the five or less. That's the way I would think of that. So that would be one minus binome CDF ten. 0.65. On the other hand, if it said more than 6, if I draw my number line more than 6, then I want to start with 7, so that means I want to eliminate everything up to 6, and so that would be 1 minus binome CDF 10.66. So again, the more than differs from six or more. Okay, and that's it for our binomial distribution.